I have a lot of expectations for this conference. One is, of course, to meet colleagues because I work uh, in Eschborn in the headquarters to get a get better grip on what's going on in the in the projects on the ground. What are the colleagues doing? Uh, what solutions do we already have? Which innovations maybe to to uh, get some steps further on our way to transforming agriculture and food systems. So I'm really excited to learn what's going on actually on the ground. Well, what I'm really interested in currently, I'm working with a broad range of topics, rather a bit on the, on the surface. But what I'm interested in also from what I've been working before on is actually how to, to um, uh, bring forward also, let's say, in, in political solutions, uh, agricultural policies, which are evidence-based, which... Um, somehow take steps into the right direction regarding transformation of agriculture and food systems, as we were discussing yesterday, for example, in one of the working groups, uh, how, to, how to handle, let's say, um, input subsidies for fertilizer, what uh, impact does that have uh, on the transformation of agriculture and food systems, on the environment, to become a bit more concrete, how could influence instruments look like, how could policies look like, which um, uh, foster, let's say, the evidence-based um, way of, of transformation in terms of serving people, serving the environment and achieving these objectives. That is something I'm really especially interested in to see. What do we have? Because it's not only uh, a question of evidence-based policies, but it's of course also a question of uh, political economy. And that is a very interesting topic, I think. Yeah.